I came to North Carolina chasing grandchildren. When I got married, my wife, my wife was a widow, living in Tucson, Arizona. She, when we married, she uprooted herself and her two kids from Tucson, Arizona to join me in Maryland. I think that was kind of a high price. She lived in a nice house, her kids were in a, a good school, they were thriving, they had wonderful friends. And she threw her lot in with me. We moved, we, we lived in Maryland, I was heavily involved in Maryland, in, in my community and business, etc. And we looked, as our kids grew and moved away, and our kids now live all over the country, most, two of our four kids live in the Carolinas. So as a consequence, four of our seven grandchildren live in the Carolinas. Let's go live in the Carolinas. And we did. What a great decision. My wife's taught me a lot of lessons. I'm a really lucky guy. Um, I'm a really lucky guy. I'm lucky to be here in the Carolinas. I never thought about being in the legislature. Are you kidding? Really? I mean, that's just like ridiculous. Uh, somebody said, well, you should, you should run for a seat in the House. And I'm thinking, no, I have a seat in the House, my house. I like that seat. But then I thought about the, op the opportunity now being provided me so that I could give back, provide opportunities for others, and maybe, maybe somehow help raise the bar. I've seen the worst of the worst. Eight years in the military all over the world, working on the streets in D.C., in southeast D.C. Come on, man. We can do better. We can do better. And if I've got, if I have the ability to do that, then I need to do it. And I'm, again, fortunate my family feels just exactly that way. So I am truly a lucky guy.